Hey, what's up guys? This is Liam or Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video. Today, I want to talk about Reinhardt, the main tank man since the release of the game, who's been used consistently on attack and defense. But I want to talk about the misconception of him always being needed. I don't know how many times in game you lose the first fight and you hear someone say this. I think we're going to need the uh, Ryan to get through this. I don't know how many times I've heard this, and there are some situations where you do need to have a Reinhardt, but there's a lot where you don't too, and I'm going to go through them now. So on this King's Row game, as I showed before, we lost the first team fight because we didn't play it very well, and we have some kind of a mix of a dive comp, but it doesn't have a Lucio. It's a bit messy, but we're running mostly a dive comp. We lose the first fight and someone calls out for a Reinhardt. Now, I've had this happen to me dozens and dozens of times, maybe even into the hundreds where someone says we need a Reinhardt. Now, don't mistake me for saying we don't need a tank. That's definitely not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that Reinhardt isn't the only tank in the game. I think what's happened over time, especially in matchmaking and solo queue, is Reinhardt provides a security comfort blanket for your team. It's something to hide behind, but it's also a point of reference for your whole team to stay near. It keeps your team together and makes things easier to take. That's why Reinhardt is always used and why people think you need him so often. But as you'll see very quickly in a second, we go straight into the next fight without the Rhine again, but this time we take the right position and we split the enemy and that's what a dive comp is for. Although we're not explicitly running a very good one, it's still the same concept as what happens. So I take care of the Rhine, he pins me, but we went out the fight anyway. And we pretty much walk through the whole map in a second and you'll see as we get going that the enemy team don't really stand much of a chance and the only time they even win a fight from here out is when they alt wipe us. Now something that's definitely true is that it's a lot easier to run a comp without a Rhine on attack and the main reason is spawn advantage. On capture point, payload and hybrid most of the maps you have a spawn advantage when you're on attack. Now some of them later in the stages they do get better for the defender side and the defenders will have a much better spawn like point two on Anubis for example. In this situation on attack then yeah you may want to swap to a Rhine because it's that bit harder simply due to the respawn advantage but respawns play a big part on hero picks and since most of the time on attack you have the advantage you don't need the Rhine so much because you can trickle in the enemy team the dive tanks move faster can get into the action quicker and you don't need that safety blanket so much but when you're on defense Ryan is usually a must pick now it is possible to play dive on defense too but the coordination required to do so in a matchmaking environment it's not going to happen, not at any level of play, unless you look upon joining five pros on your team or something at Grandmasters. Running a defensive comp without a rise is very difficult because you simply don't have that safety net or the spawn advantage to be able to cheese out a dive comp strategy. Now, we love dive comps. Now, we think they're a great way to play the game, and I suggest that more people try and learn them for attack because people don't expect it. Now, the enemy team, they didn't expect it here, and it shows very quickly. They're split up and they're disorganized, and that's what a dive comp jumps on that's the opportunity that a dive comp can present you with is enemy teams getting overwhelmed everything being too complicated for them and just taking all the space in the world now what happens in the next push is me and Eddie initiate on the enemy team but they come at us with a load of ultimates now we've mentioned this recently but I will say it again is when you get all wiped, that doesn't mean you need a huge change. Again, when we got all wiped, someone's crying out for a Reinhardt or we need a change. And, and that's what happens in Overwatch is that's the game. Being ulted is what's supposed to happen. Actually, what happened was the enemy used way too many ultimates so that they had nothing to defend against in the next fight. Once again, we dive in Nano Winston and he gets a five piece. By the way, Winston apparently needs a buff. This is the thing we've been trying to say, guys. When the meta shifts like this, things change. And a dive comp now, after all of the nerfs, is much, much better. The footage you're watching is pre-patch, but Diva's still just as usable now now you just have to be a little bit more careful but Winston is better now because more enemies are running more squishier heroes I'm sure you've already seen more Genjis coming into play McCrees etc that haven't been played much in the last meta and that's simply due to the changes and Winston Diva Divecom is going to be very very strong throughout this new meta at least that's what we predict and what we hope to see more of because it's just a lot of fun to play in the game so with Reinhardt guys if you need him 
it's more likely going to be on defense when you absolutely need him. The conditions of what you do need a Reinhardt is if the enemy team are maybe got a Widowmaker who's being a big problem for you. Getting behind that shield is a very good safety blanket for your team. Also, if they're trying to split you or they're succeeding in splitting you a lot, then having that Reinhardt to have that point of reference for your team to group up behind, again, is the way to beat teams that are trying to split you up like that. Now, there's one thing I definitely need to say where people take Reinhardt in the worst situation situation possible and that's when the enemy team have got a May, Symmetra or Junkrat. If they're spamming down the choke people seem to think you need to take a Reinhardt to push through that and that's the absolute polar opposite of the truth. What you need to do is take a dive comp to surround the enemy team and dive them in the back line because that spam is just going to melt straight through Ryan's shield. He's going to get walled off, Symmetra's going to get a teleporter, Junkrat's going to get his ultimate and they're the situations where you definitely don't want to Ryan and again that's usually on attack because no one's really going to run Junkrat on attack and if they do it's a lot harder for them to get the use out of it against your Ryan shield. So guys that's what I recommend. If you're running attack dive comp is a lot more viable it is on defense too it's very very difficult to run and maybe we'll cover it in a video sometime but it's very very hard to run you don't always need to run especially on attack and especially when the enemy are playing the choke point symmetra torbjorn all of them guys that are seeing great use in solo queue right now is because people think you always need a run but if you learn to run diva winston genji loads of different dive heroes put on speed boost get anna in there as well you can have a very good time running a dive comp we do have a video on how to set one up and i'll link that in the description be sure to let us know what you guys think and don't forget to check out our twitter and our discord where you guys can find the winston main of your dreams also we stream every single day so be sure to follow our stream and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed have a great day as always take care and peace people